Hey, what's going on guys? I know it's been a while since I've made a video about my uh, World War II Army Air Corps uniforms and gear and things like that. So today, with everything going on with the coronavirus and being under quarantine, I decided to make a video uh, comparing some of my original uh, kit with some of my reproduction kit. And to start it off, I decided to do a video comparing my original A4 flight suit with my reproduction A4 flight suit that was made by What Price Glory. So we'll start off over here with the original on the right. Um, this is an original from 1942, and this is the A4 flight suit that normally I will wear, you know, during reenacting and, you know, air shows and things like that. It's an original size 46 A4, as you can see right here. It's got the contract number and the size and all that. It even has a chain originally to hang it up with, which is what this chain is for right here. Now this A4 is one of the different contractual, con con it's a different contract in that it has zippers on the pockets. These zippers were meant just basically, you know, to seal the pockets if you were carrying things like personal items, maps, gloves, things like that. Small little items that you could fit in and you had these zippers that you could see zip up and, you know, seal it in so it didn't have any risk of, you know, anything you were carrying around inside them falling out. Um, but yeah, this is my original. Um, normally I wear this, it's got a little bit of fading just from sheer age on the top, but I, that came like that. Um, but overall, it's in really, really good condition. You can find original A4s, they're still pretty plentiful. A little harder to size in the bigger sizes like this, but they're still out there. Um, but if you're a smaller sized guy, like around a size 36, 38, size 40, you should have no problem um, finding an original A4 flight suit in your size. The A4 typically was used up until around 1944, and then you see the ANS-31 flight suit, the later flight suits coming out to replace this one. Um, but you still see A4s pretty much up till the end of the war in 1945, being used by uh, Army Air Force uh, pilots, um, fighter pilots and bomber crews. Um, so yeah, it's a really, this flight suit's in really good shape. It doesn't have any mothing or anything like that. You can see right here it has two pockets, the one up on the breast and the other one down here on the right leg. And this one also down on the leg has a zipper on it that you can um, use to zipper up. You know, down here you can keep, you know, again, small items like gloves. If you have a map that you would fold up, you can keep it in there, things like that. Um, and over here, and it's got more of a greenish tone to it. Like I said, I use this, this is typically the main flight suit I wear, but I've been getting in the process of weeding out my original stuff and switching more to reproductions. And I have this over here. This is the reproduction A4 flight suit that's made by What Price Glory. And overall, I gotta give it credit. It's a really, really nice reproduction. Um, this one's also a size 46. The sizing with the reproductions and the originals is actually pretty good. They're mostly true to the original sizes. Here's the label from What Price Glory right here. It's the reproduction label. It's a little different from the original, but I'm not concerned about that. The thing is, however, it's got this made in Pakistan tag in it. So you might want to just like, if those of you who are like really, really focused on the details, you might want to just, you know, remove that and things like that. But overall, the, the fabric, the material is actually really, really good. Um, the thing is, the, diff the main difference between my repro and the original is that the reproduction, it doesn't have the zippers on the pockets. The pockets are left open, which is actually 100% authentic. Uh, A4 flight suits had both open pockets and pockets with zippers, so that's not something I would worry about at all. I mean, if you get a reproduction, you wanna add zippers to it. You know, I've, I know a couple of guys who've done that, um, but I'm not gonna waste the time in doing that. I'll just leave them open. Um, the main difference also is like the buttons here for to snap up the collar are a little more widely spaced out than on my original. Um, and also the color is a little different on the re reproduction. It's more of got like a brownish hue to it, brown color to it, whereas the reproduct, as, as well as the, the original, it's got more of a green color to it. But again, there were multiple different contractors making A4s during the war. So there's gonna be differences in color, you know, minor differences like that. So the color, I'm not at all worried about. It's a very authentic color. You know, it's very well made. And I think more and more as time goes on, I'm gonna be wearing the reproduction A4 more than my original. Cause again, the original, it's almost 80 years old. 
So I just really want to just, you know, start preserving more and more of the original stuff, especially in the bigger sizes, because again, they're getting harder to find, especially in good condition. Um, so yeah, overall, I give the Reproduction A4 an A+. It's a really, really faithful reproduction, and I give what price glory props. You know, it's really good, and again, if you're looking for, if you're a bigger size guy like me, you might want to consider just, you know, settling with the Price Glory one if you can find an original. And again, if, you know, you're another guy like me who's, you know, also retiring his original stuff more and more and switching to reproductions, again, you can't go wrong with the Rough Price Glory, with the Rough Price Glory uh, flight suit. So that's it for this video. Um, I'll be making more definitely in the near future. But until then, I hope you all stay safe out there and I'll catch you all later.